Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today we're going to talk about the items I have in my first aid cabinet in the barn. We'll talk about what's in there and what they're used for. I want to say I have a good rapport with my vet, so I have some prescription items in here that I use under the direction of my vet. We'll talk about what they are and what they're used for, along with the non-prescription items. So this is my medicine cabinet. We keep it in a climate controlled area in the kitchen in my barn. And we're gonna start off at the top and work our way down. Generally, I mostly keep prescription items on the top shelf. And then on the way down, we'll work our way down. I have coconut oil, put on a lot of, of wounds. Um, as far as like flaky skin, dry skin, things like that. I have sunscreen, uh, use that a lot on horses with uh, white noses. Uh, different areas that they sunburn. Um, here's some sulfur tabs. Use that for uh, antibiotics for certain things that uh, the vet will tell me to use them for. I have uh, Demosedan paste. We use that if we need to sedate a horse. Uh, if, if he's hurt himself and he needs to be sedated in the stall waiting on the vet to get here. Then we'll use that. Moving on over, I have cows, so there's some antibiotics for the cows that I use as needed. There's a pill crusher. I need to crush up the pills to give to the horses. I have banamine. Don't go anywhere without banamine. Dextra methadone. Use that a lot for allergies. Um, I use it for uh, different other issues. Prevacox for the older horses. Keep a bottle of Uniprim on hand for an antibiotic if something gets hurt and needs antibiotics. That is uh, a powder that's used for horses with a mild case of uh, EPM. A little bit of Ace. And then I have a couple other things. Antibiotics. Pentazan. It's a joint supplement that we give certain horses. There's an eye ointment for a horse with a corneal scratch. We give what that's for. Dextromethasone tablets for horses with allergies. There's some butte powder. Got to remember to move the camera when I'm looking. Some butte powder, some more butte powder. Use that for uh, anti-inflammatories. Here's another jar of the powder for the EPM. Got some calming paste. And that's pretty much my prescription shelf. And then down here, keep some vetricin for wound antiseptic. There's another wound medication. Some vet wrap for wrapping if I need to wrap a horse's legs. Wonder dust. I use that a lot on uh, leg uh, injuries, leg cuts. It's good. It's good for uh, helping to knock down proud flesh. There's some eye wash. There's another antiseptic. That's a, a stick sunscreen. And Corona ointment. There's more wound treatment. Furison. Another more wound treatment. Wound coat. Clear eyes. Another eye wash. Some more wound coat. Betadine. Gauze wraps. Underwoods. Wound treatment. And there's the baking powder that goes with the underwoods. There's some ice tape wrap. And Tricare, I really like this wound treatment. It has a uh, uh, an antiseptic and a little bit of a uh, uh, pain reliever in it. MTG, Red Cell, is my fly, concentrated fly rep uh, repellent. Um, I mix that up in a one gallon pump sprayer and that's, we put that on the horses. Honey hooves, we Put that on the horse's hooves, that, that works really good. 
tea tree oil. We actually mix the tea tree oil in with the flower coloring. And then coming down, here's my uh, cattle warmer. My ivermectin pour on that I put on, give the cows. And then here's all my hoof treatments. Kevlar Tough, Venice Turpentine. And then there's some uh, fly repellent lotion. Some more insect stuff. Devil's Claw supplement. That's a really good joint supplement. And then coming across, I have my syringes and needles for uh, giving the prescription injectables. And that is my personal uh, first aid kit for people. It has band-aids, antiseptics, a lot of similar stuff, just the people version. And then coming on down, soft ride boots and ice boots. And that's pretty much it. There's some more boots. We have a lot in our medicine cabinet. I want to mention just a few things that I would recommend to start with. And the first thing would be banamine. And the reason I would say that first, it, it's prescription, it needs to be given under the direction of your vet. But if I have a colicky horse, a lot of times the vet will tell me to give banamine to help relieve some of the, the stress that's going on with the horse while I'm waiting on the vet to get here. The other thing I would say to not be without is butte powder. Um, it's really good for anti-inflammatories. If, if a horse comes in a little bit sore, I can give a butte powder right away, and a lot of times that will knock out something before it becomes a problem. And that would be the prescription things that I would say I wouldn't want to be without. And a couple of non-prescription things I want to mention, this TRICARE ointment. It has an antiseptic and it has a pain reliever in it. It's um, I probably use more of that than any other over-the-counter medication for wounds, scratches, scrapes. Uh, use that on myself a lot, actually. And Wonder Dust, great for leg wounds that I want to keep crowd flesh knocked down, and wound coat antiseptic. Those would be the three non-prescription items that I would say I don't ever want to be without. So I'll have links at the bottom of my video to some of these items and if you have any questions about what they are or how to use them, um, post, com post your question down in the comments and I want to stress the prescription items you need to only administer, administer those under the direction of your vet. Um, they all can have adverse side effects. so only give those under the direction of your vet. I want to thank you for watching my video today. Please click the subscribe button to get notifications of future videos I have coming out. And look for the links in the description to the, video, the items that I talked about. Thank you for watching today.